My work as a scholar benefit greatly from this uh, loose ACLI's uh, fellowship in China studies, mostly because uh, not, uh, aside from the generous uh, financial support and the time I was given by having receiving this uh, fellowship, uh, the, the other very important factor is I got to connect it to a vibrant community of China scholars all, uh, all across uh, the states. And especially uh, I was in the cohort uh, when COVID was still pretty uh, impactful uh, to the extent that I was not able to travel to China immediately. So ACL has uh, paired us with uh, mentors, uh, senior scholars in the field, as well as peer uh, fellows. Uh, and uh, we met uh, every month to workshop our uh, working progress and believe it or not we're still meeting every month uh, after the fellowship was done. I think on top of those individual benefits as I mentioned uh, another thing uh, believe it or not is uh, this symbolic power of uh, the ACLS has. Uh, you guys are really uh, setting the agenda uh, for the entire field um, being recognized uh, as an ACLS fellow itself has the power. Uh, it's a way for me to signal right, to my peers that uh, this is kind of the work in China studies that these days that people value. This is really, really crucial for me as a junior scholar who are working very hard to try to get recognized uh, in the field. I thought that uh, it's really precious that ACLS, a U.S.-based organization, uh, has been willing to and uh, working hard to fund uh, research across the globe. Uh, and given today the geopolitical conflicts uh, and the uh, emerging China-U.S. rivalry, I think it's more important than ever uh, to keep funding China studies uh, in the way it's been doing uh, to make uh, people in the United States uh, engage uh, in um, the public understanding of China um, so that uh, our knowledge production is not just to repeat stereotypes but to actually uh, uh, get to know uh, no knowledge and information uh, from the ground by trusting uh, people's work.